fresh the entire time. All right. Is that designed so that if they were to malfunction, they would give you continuous air instead of cutting off air? Okay. All right. So here's what you want to do. You want to pick your regular wrap, put it in your mouth. You're going to be looking at your SPG. Your SPG is the pressure gauge right there. So you got like 3,000 right now. Mm -hmm. You're going to take two large breaths. Make sure that needle doesn't move at all. So go ahead and put that in your mouth. Take two large breaths. Any movement at all? Okay, I'm going to show you guys really quick. I just want, to, I want you to see the normal breath. There you go. One, one more. Okay, good. Look at your gauge. Okay. Although it seemed like you could breathe, no problem, right? But her, she's down to 500 psi right now. Take one more breath. Take one oh, more breath. <laughs> Take one more breath. Exactly. <laughs> you won't be able to, right? No, it literally shuts off. There's no more air. In this line right here, you have at least two breaths in this line, just in the line itself, because the valve's closed. So what you just breathed was two, oh, two off here. Like, the valve's really closed. That's why there's no air right now. Let me just show you one other thing really quick, okay? If the valve is not completely open, it will look like you have air. Watch. Check this out, right? I'm gonna open it up. Oh, shoot, you're all the way to 3,000. It looks like you're ready to go or dive, right? Put that rig in your mouth and take a breath while looking at this now. Hang on a second, go again. But look, it climbs back up. Let me open this tiny bit here. See how it climbs back up? Take another breath. See how it's dropping every single time it drops down about a thousand psi? What does that tell you? It tells you, take two breaths. That's how it should look. No movement whatsoever. And one more, there you go. All right, so you guys both took that.